Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. We finally have some more news on the Batman and now early screeners have occurred. Apparently, people love this movie. And before we get into it, I'm getting all of this information from, from Blu-ray Angel. Now, this is all, the reason I'm making this video is because I saw 3C Films video where he talks about the test screening of the Batman and his thoughts on it. The person that he got the test screening information from is a guy on Twitter named Blu-ray Angel. He also He's also really famous on TikTok and he said that one of his friends got the early screener for the batman i'll put the tweet up on screen right now 3c films is in my opinion a very trustworthy guy and he said that blu-ray angel is a very trustworthy guy and he knows blu-ray angel wouldn't lie about this stuff just for the clout so that's why i believe all of this before we get into breaking down all of the news from the test screener and my thoughts on it make sure that, that subscribe button and to no kiss on so miss anytime i upload a new video or i go live i also talk about batman a lot i'm super excited for the movie that's specifically why i'm making this video so i want to start it off by talking about the first tweet that blu-ray angel posted he said exclusive I know someone that has seen the hashtag Batman, a friend of mine, and a really good person. Here's what they told me thread no spoilers starting it off he said that the batman is a horror movie very graphic very dark very scary paul dano is fucking crazy so fucking scary i loved every second this gets me so excited guys i'm gonna be honest i i'm i wasn't i wouldn't say i really wanted this movie to necessarily be just like horror because it's okay that it's not a horror movie like that's a, that's what i was seeing at first you know that i'm seeing it's a horror movie it's very dark it's very scary paul dano is insane i'm super excited number one paul dano is an absolutely insane actor he's such a good performer he's awesome in one of my favorite movies of all time prisoners he's so great also the fact that they said very graphic that gets me really excited because apparently what happened was there was a leaked book like a children's book and usually obviously it'll make children's books for movies that are rated r so there's a lot of ways that you can get around being rated r and not being rated r and just sticking with pg-13 and still pushing the limit and boundaries a lot and obviously you can do that a lot with storytelling telling a super dark story can make a movie feel like a horror movie it doesn't have to be like blood all the time and so i'm excited that they're making it work around that the movie could very well be rated r that's really fine with me i don't think they do that at least for the first one maybe the second or third one they push the boundaries and they're like okay let's see how much money this makes being rated r so i would love for them to experiment with that but i don't think a movie has to be rated r to be good and as of now if i'm not mistaken it is pg-13 at least from the inferences that we have from the children's book information but other than that i'm just so excited for the visuals in this movie because like they said it's very dark and very scary also apparently the riddler is gonna have saw kind of traps where people have to escape out of it one example was shown in the trailer where the guy has a bomb strapped to him and he has a and he has a card on it that says to the batman and so that is so cool and i'm excited to see how creative matt reeves gets with that whole horror aspect of it all right guys so i'm currently editing the video and we just got even more news from blu-ray angel i'm just gonna read it out loud and i'll put the stuff on screen right now on the side right here he said update i got more answers part one of two thread i can officially say the batman will not kill my friend said no he is against killing there's a scene where they make that very clear matt reeves is a goat i'm so happy right now this makes me so excited i'm so glad batman doesn't kill i think it completely goes against his morals and honestly after watching daredevil i realized like that's what really holds a character back is that the fact that they don't want to kill i think that makes the character so good and that's what really puts boundaries the next tweet that he said right underneath that said that rob's batman narrates the whole movie fight scenes were great lots of them the catwoman ones were really my absolute fave zoe really pops off i was pretty surprised alfred has significant scenes there's blood teetering between thriller and horror lfg i'm excited okay so number one rod panson narrates the whole movie that is insane i'm i just i, I can't wait like a, a narrated batman movie from bruce wayne batman himself that's insane the fight scenes were great i'm so excited for the fight scenes i love the fight scenes that they showed in the trailer just a little bit of them and then alfred has significant scenes i was scared that alfred would really be put on the side because i feel like alfred's really important to bruce's character especially in this movie where he's having that identity crisis and i'm glad that alfred is having significant scenes there's a lot of blood teetering between thriller and horror that gets me so excited you guys know me i'm a sucker for bloody movies bloody tv shows brutal heroes and the fact that he's brutal but still not killing that gets me really excited but without wasting more time let's get back to the video but moving on now i want to talk about the second tweet he said that the cut they saw of the batman is three hours long 
That is insane. Three hours of Batman content. That gets me so hyped. Obviously, the movie's probably not going to be three hours because test screeners, they're always thinking about pacing and story beats and all that kind of stuff. That's the reason they do test screeners is because of all these different small things. And so I'm assuming it'll probably go down at max like 15, 20 minutes, but that's only if people actually think it drags on for so, so long. I don't think it would be cut more than 20 minutes. I'm thinking 15, two hours and 45 minutes of Batman footage. Mm -mm -mm. That that is just that is so perfect to me. I just I I physically cannot think of having three hours of Batman footage. That is just so perfect to me. That gets me so excited. And I know after all every single one of these tweets that I read, I'm gonna say I'm so excited. It's because I am. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This movie has me ecstatic, and the fact that we're gonna get three hours of Robert Pattinson's Batman, Paul Dano's The Riddler, Zoe Kravitz's The Catwoman. That all just, it's so insane to me that we're actually getting this. And the fact that it's a three hour movie, that gets me even more hype. But now I want to talk about the next tweet. It says, their thoughts on Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. I have a million different things to say about Catwoman. She's my favorite. Holy, sh she's definitely my favorite Catwoman. Now, personally, I don't think being the best Catwoman is anything crazy. I don't really like any of the other iterations of Catwoman. Even in the Nolan trilogy, I absolutely love Christopher Nolan. I love Heath Ledger. I love Christian Bale. I love Tom Hardy. I love everyone in those movies. I just don't really like Catwoman. Honestly, I haven't seen any of the other Batman movies before this. I've seen like clips of older ones, but overall, I don't really watch that many Batman movies, but I love the character of Batman. I just don't really care for the character of Catwoman. I will say in the Long Halloween part one and part two, Catwoman was absolutely perfect. I loved her so much. Her writing was so perfect. She had just enough inclusion in the Batman's life to where it didn't feel like annoying that she was still there, but it just felt, she was. She just added so much to those two movies. And I think that she can add so much here. I love Zoe Kravitz in Mad Max Fury Road. She was absolutely awesome. I think that's the only performance I've seen her in though, but overall, nevertheless, I'm still excited for her as Catwoman. But the next one, next thing I want to talk about, the next tweet, it says, their thoughts on our pants with Batman voice. His voice was perfect in my opinion. This, okay, here's the thing. I knew Batman was, I knew Robert Pattinson was going to be a perfect Batman. I was never doubting Robert Pattinson since the day that they announced it. I've always been a fan of Robert Pattinson. I absolutely love the man. And I think that he is going to play a perfect Batman. I don't know if I've showed you guys this already, but I do have a Robert Pattinson magazine. I love the man so much. I think that he's an absolutely perfect actor. I love him in Good Time. I love him in The Lighthouse. I love him in all of his movies. I'm actually working on watching through all of the Twilight movies for the first time, just so I can get more of a feel for his acting. Obviously, that was a long time ago. His acting style has definitely changed over time from telling, like, telling from people that have seen the Twilight movies and his newer stuff. People say he's way better now, obviously, but I still want to see all of like a lot more of his acting performances. And I'm just so excited for him in this movie specifically because I just think he's so perfect as Batman. Like, I love the grounded take. I will say, Robert Pattinson's voice when he said, I am vengeance, was literally chef's kiss perfect. It was so good. I loved it so much. And it's like that, that really got me excited. Like, at the end of the trailer, when he goes, I'm vengeance, that like I just jumped out of my seat. I think I fell off my chair it was it was insane i was absolutely in love but the next thing that the guy tweeted about he said there's thoughts of our pants since batmobile holy that slayed i'll be honest the batmobile i don't really like the tank feel of it like i okay so here's the thing i'm not even a fan of muscle cars by the way like i think the muscle i think muscle cars are great right but i don't i'm not the biggest fan of them all the time i think it works here when we get that first look i was absolutely in love with it but i also just don't like the armored version for example bale i liked his batmobile for a little bit but over time it just it just felt so impractical you know like why would you drive a whole tank down the street if you're batman you're trying to be sleek it doesn't really make sense to me so i i like that they're going for the muscle car and i like that they it sounds like from what this guy said uh he absolutely loves it and hopefully they utilize it a lot more in this movie more than they at least did in the nolan trilogy because they barely use it in the nolan trilogy but now i want to talk about what this guy said afterwards he said update i just asked if the batman sets up for a sequel here's what they said yes definitely a sequel that oh moment i genuinely felt like they're gonna start a whole collection of rob pat batman movies and circle through diff villains maybe okay i know that sounded a little weird because he was using abbreviations for the twitter letter count but overall this makes me so excited and the fact that he said a rob pat batman movies like a collection of them not just a trilogy that makes me even more excited because in all honesty i think warner brothers should really stick with robert pattinson's batman i don't think that they need a recast after one trilogy i think that if reeves 
wants to keep it going, if Pattinson wants to keep it going, I think if the supporting characters want to keep it going, then keep it going. I don't really see a reason to stop it and just keep rebooting. If they're making money, they should keep making the movies, in my opinion. Robert Pattinson, they definitely casted a Batman on the younger side of the age scale, and I think it really works. I think Robert Pattinson could play Batman for a long time. Just depends really what he wants to do, because obviously he still likes to play other roles. I don't think he wants to play Batman every single year of his life. I think at a certain point, that could get really boring, honestly, just really annoying for an actor. But I do think that like this movie, they said it sets up for a sequel. That just makes me so excited because I kind of, I was really scared that this movie was just going to feel like a one-off and then they were going to debate on whether making to make another one or not afterwards. But I think it's confirmed that we're having a trilogy minimum. I think Reeves said he wants to make multiple movies, multiple projects surrounding this Batverse. I made multiple videos on the Batverse, by the way, if you guys haven't seen any of them, make sure to check them out. I did like fan castings, theories about how they're going to do different movies for different villains, the GCPD show. I talk about all those things on the channel. So again, if you like Batman stuff, subscribe to the channel. So the final tweet that the guy tweeted was the closing opinion. He said, there's a scene at the end that literally had everyone screaming. Everyone gasped. Like there was a big no way moment for everyone. I don't give a f about Batman or DC. And even I clenched on it onto a knee and was shook. It's the biggest mic drop. I love to hear this. Honestly, I really do. I'm just so excited excited like a big no way moment i really honestly haven't had that in a superhero movie since thanos snapped in infinity war other than that that's really it like tony sacrificing i kind of felt like to what either tony or captain america was gonna die in endgame i feel like either one of them had to and so like it did like obviously it was like an oh crap moment like it was like i was still shook but like i didn't i didn't genuinely felt a shock through my body until when thanos snapped that was insane for me. I absolutely, that was absolutely insane. And that was like the craziest moment in theaters recently that I can think of. Other than that, I can't really think of a moment. That's probably the biggest one for me, honestly. And I, I think that this will be the best one. A lot of people were also saying, this isn't from the tweet, this isn't from this thread, but there's also a lot of a lot of people in general that want, went to the early screeners and for some reason wanted to break their NDA that said this is the best superhero movie since Spider-Man 2 and The Dark Knight. So this means this, this could honestly be better than Logan. That's what people are saying, better than Fatty War that gets me so excited and let me know what you guys think of all of these things from the early screeners in the comments down below let me just know how hype you are in the comments also hit that like button on this video if you guys want more batman content if you guys enjoy the videos on the channel make sure that subscribe button and turn notification on so don't miss any time up in a new video or go live thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time peace